Okay, um, so we're going to look at the second exercise on uh, the handout previously posted, uh, and this deals with transfer pricing. Page Incorporated has a division that makes paint and another division that constructs subdivisions. The paint division incurs the following cost for one gallon of paint. All right. The paint division can make 100, I'm sorry, 1 million gallons per year and expects to produce 800,000 gallons next year. The construction division currently buys 200,000 gallons of paint from an outside supplier for $5.30 per gallon. All right. Which is the same price that the paint division sells its paint for all right so the maximum price per gallon paint is all right and this is just kind of a logic test really uh if the if they were to transfer the the, the absolute maximum that um the subdivision department would be willing to pay is is the market price five dollars and thirty cents all right so that's really all that all there is to that minimum transfer price all right well looking at what the problem gives us uh, the absolute minimum transfer price uh, is 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 gonna be your variable cost per gallon so we can ignore the dollar and 15 cent uh, per gallon fixed cost which is based on 800,000 gallons anyway we can ignore that right because that's not going to be affected since the department has the authority or I should say the capacity to manufacture up to a million gallons all right so uh, what we're looking at here is the total cost less the fixed all right three dollars and forty five cent Right, and hopefully you remember from chapter eight uh, that as long as you cover the variable cost, you would be adding to the bottom line. So that's why the three dollars and forty-five cent is the uh, minimum transfer price. All right, neither neither manager would be. Uh, well, if we transfer at this price, the paint manager is not going to be too thrilled with that price, right? Particularly, all they do is break even. And if we transfer at this price, the subdivision manager is not going to be thrilled with that price because he or she is not really saving anything. All they're doing is paying what they would pay if they went and got paint on the open market. From another supplier. All right. C tells us assume the transfer takes place at five dollars per gallon. Calculate the amount by which each of the following will be better off with the transfer than without it. All right. Well, let's start with the paint division, the selling division. All right, so the transfer price is $5 less the variable cost of $3.45 that it takes to make a gallon of paint. All right, and they're selling 200,000 gallons.
All right, so that works out to 310000 That's basically additional revenue for the paint division. All right. Um, and and uh, we should call it, actually, we should call it additional income. All right. All right, uh, construction division. All right, well, market's 530. That's what they have been paying. Now they're getting supply at $5, All right? Same 200,000 gallons. All right, 60,000. All right, and that's additional income too because they would have spent 60,000 more to source the same uh, 200,000 gallons of paint, all right? Um, we want to think of the benefit to the company as a whole well that's just the net benefits that we add together All right so the company does better um, $370,000 better by transferring a product in-house, right, uh, that they otherwise would have purchased, had to have purchased uh, from an external supplier, right? Uh, okay, uh, so that's transfer pricing.